Hey Mischief Maker viewers and welcome back to the channel. Now today has been a day. There has been a lot going on, not only in the shop but personally and um, I haven't quite got what I really wanted to get done but that is okay. I don't have a problem with that. But what I am doing now is I am at Rockstar Garage with Nick Ashby and we are mounting his double beadlocks. Now let's go mount a double beadlock for the first time. So for those of you who don't know Nick Ashby, he is the owner of the Rockstar Garage and he is the owner of the one and only Gridlock, a giant CJ mean crawling machine. It also goes very, very fast. Here are just some of the things that this monster has done. This is our time to rise back from the sand and claim our freedom. Talking about the freedom. Uh, uh, uh. So let's head on inside and uh, see how this is done. So we just got the new tires in for Mickey Thompson. These are the Baja Pro XS. Just like Holly's Pro X, but hey. these are the non-sticky DOT version. Notice they're flatter tire, a lot more lugs, less gaps. So let's see how a double beadlock mounts. So beadlocks are already not fun to mount. This just gives you twice as many bolts to mount. I think that's directional. Yep. So that's the right way. First thing we gotta do is pop some valve stems in this. So this is what you call a valve stem puller. This is how you pull a valve stem in. Where am I thinking in? So I have never mounted a double beadlock before, but I do know that you have to mount it from the back of the front. So rotations that way. So I have to mount it like this. So on a typical beadlock, you mount it face down and you slide this in first. But since it has beadlocks on both sides, you want to get this.
How many of these are there? I don't know. Let's count. Why don't you count them? <laughs> and then times that by two. I think there are 24. Like super fast. Yeah, this is, this looks pretty right now, but after your first uh, wheeling trip. <laughs> <laughs> you Bye. mean our first wheeling trip? Our first wheeling trip. Where are we trip. going next? Where are we going next? I don't know. I just didn't get close. Ooh. This just needs a little pick me up so that we can get the bolt through. This one's too tall. This one should work ish. Yep, perfect. I'll slide off you there. Nice. Okay, now let's unpark. Do you want a hand? <laughs> <laughs> so this wheel weighs 50 pounds, and this tire is close to 150 pounds. <laughs> And it's Friday. And it's Friday. Oh, there we go. Look at that. See that? That's what you want. So now the entire sidewall is sitting there. Now, that should be There we go. Man, that still looks kind of shy. We'll try it. Yeah, it does. Let's try her. These are hair shy. A hair shy? So we're four shy? Yes. Dude, we're not even halfway done with this wheel yet. Not even halfway done. This is like the part where everyone else is like, yeah, got it mounted, we're good. <laughs> not Rings you, Holmes. On. use something like this make sure you set the setting down on it so you don't screw up um, your nuts that are actually on the inside of these your coils so Now, you can see just how wide that tire actually is. Look at that big old gap. Ooh. This is actually wow. a good time for us to explain how we balance. So, these are balancing beads. We don't use weights on tires this big because we just have an ungodly amount of weight. <laughs> so, the way these guys work is, let's take this guy. I'm gonna poke a little hole in right here. I hate these things. This is like sand. And so, so what happens is, is when your tire spins, those find the flat spots in your tires, and they put themselves into it. And then basically, what happens is you're driving. All four of them do the same thing. And yeah. It balances your tires when you're driving. That's so crazy. Wow. Go. Boom. Set. Seated. 
Wow. Easy breezy. Easy breezy. So now what we're adding is the inner bead lock. So this is built by OMF Wheels. They do conversions on factory wheels at KMC, fuel, that kind of stuff. So what happens is we're taking their system and creating an inner bead lock. An inner bead lock. Which is pretty awesome. That's beautiful. All right, well, let's see what it looks like. It's on. Done clear. Wow. <sighs> now, something I'm really curious about. What's that? Everyone always tells me, air down, air down, air down. And I'm like, you guys, I'm running 12 pounds of air in gridlock. And they're like, why are you running 40 pounds of air? Let's say you have 40 pounds of air in your tire. <laughs> so, what's really cool is, now that this is a double bead lock, I can run whatever pressure I want. I can run zero. I can run whatever I want. I can pull valve stems, run nothing. Check that out. What's really cool about this is now I have the capability of doing any freaking thing I want to, where before my air, how stiff the sidewall was, wouldn't allow me to hit certain options. Okay, so Nick was saying that he is pretty much gonna dominate the trails now. No, I, what I said was, okay, last time we were at Sand Hollow, yeah. I was complaining because I didn't have the tires you have. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, if I had sticky tires, I could go anywhere. And yeah. then you said, um, yeah. You're like, but you have the wheel bakes yeah, that he, I don't yeah. have. That's true. And so I was just saying to you, now I got tires that can get me places but your wheel base is still the same. Look at that face. Basically, he's telling me he's gonna dominate the trails and now Mischief Maker is nothing. I didn't say that. Look at that. So also- Dude, when you see that on camera like this, that tire looks monster. We're 94 inches of wheel base now. Oh, so you just added? No, we subtracted. Oh, we're 95 did? and a half. Oh, gotcha. So when we put that other one on, we're gonna end up around 94, which is kind of nice because sometimes I'm too wide to get in places. Yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. Ooh, I know which one I prefer the look of. Which one? I don't know which one I'm which one. What? I don't know yet. Like, I don't know which one I like. Why don't you guys tell us? Why don't you guys tell us which one you like more? Yes. Get a front shot here. Definitely. In the comments, leave them in the comments. Which one do you prefer more? The Pro Exodus or the Baja Claw? OG or the new kid on the block? New kid on the block. So that is it for today. I'm gonna head back. I'm gonna have some sushi tonight. I'm probably gonna have a little White Claw. And uh, this weekend, I have a couple of really cool things set up, so I'm pretty excited about it. But if you guys are enjoying this channel, please do me a favor. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, give me a thumbs up or give me a thumbs down. Always leave me a comment. I love, love, love going through everyone's comments. It's really cool to hear what you think about what is going on. And uh, remember to hit that notification bell so you know when my next video is out. So guys, until tomorrow, have a good night.